Hey, so why are you looking up on the internet, Mason? And now I'm just looking at Google. Oh. Well, I don't see it. Well, you see Google. There's your glasses. Glasses. Let me see. Oops. <laughs> Let me put them glasses on. Let's see here. Google. Well, you are looking at Google. <laughs> Look at that. Well, you got your own private computer screen, don't you? Yep. And how does that work? Cool. Well, what, what makes it work? I'm not actually sure. That's a polarized lens that we cut out of the same kind of stuff that we peeled off of the screen. You peel this layer off the screen, as you can see. When you get rid of that, oops, <laughs> uh, clean the screen off. There's still a little bit of stuff on there, not much, but uh, cut out a piece of this. And as you can see, you got to make sure you turn it the right way because it'll make it look different. <laughs> it only works a certain way, and then this has glue on it still, so it's not very clear. So you can only thing that you can see is right where you look through the glasses. When you put the glasses on, you see the screen fine, just like normal. And read everything on it. Use it. Use the computer like normal. Uh, I wouldn't recommend doing it with like a new computer. This is an old one that I just like to mess around with. Uh, but that's that's a little cool trick that I figured out. <laughs> looked it up and uh, we're just looking at videos on YouTube and somebody had done that they did it with a regular desktop monitor though and I didn't want to take my desktop monitor and mess it up and had this old computer laying around and he's browsing the internet but you would never know it until you do this I need to quit sticking that on but there you go a little trick that you can do. Oh, and be very careful when pulling this off. If you pull too hard and you crack your screen, it's it's just ruined. And you're not going to do any good like that. But, see, basically all you do, you take, uh, let's see, you take a razor blade, cut all the way around, Take one of these scrapers like this and scrape it a little bit at a time until you get it off. You don't want to push real hard because it is glass and it's real thin glass. It will break very easy and you don't want to break it. It's weird how it turns different colors, different directions. You have to, when you cut it out, test it before you cut it to fit because as you can see, if I was to put it in sideways, well, that's kind of cool actually. It's a black background. And everything uh, changes colors. There's normal. There's backwards. So you have to make sure before you cut them out to fit in your glasses. I just popped the lenses out of those glasses and cut them out to fit. Before you do that, make sure that you got them turned the right way. Just try them out before you put them in the glasses and you'll have your own little private computer screen now if you get enough to the edge I don't know if the camera can catch it yeah it can you can see a little bit of what's going on there but you can't tell much about it you gotta really concentrate on it to tell what's going on but as long as you're looking straight on or at pretty much any other angle all you see is a white screen until you put the glasses the, the polarized lenses up to it. Huh, there you go. Just a little 
little trick might be kind of fun to do if you have an old monitor but don't do it on a good one because the chances of breaking the glass are pretty uh, pretty much you about 50 50 <laughs> Uh, I didn't really care with this computer that much because it's uh, there's not much you can really do with it anyway. But uh, it'll be a nice little project to put up on YouTube. Thank you for watching.